let you know. It's a bit of a special day for me because, anyway, forget about me. Uh, Mark, Mark, as you can see, has his own channel. We'll put the link to that later. Mark's teaching me how to use um, soft plastic. Fluid. Soft plastic balls. Fish on a soft plastic, on a soft plastic. What it is, Mark is recovering from having a heart attack. How are you feeling, Mark? I'm alive, which is always a good sign. I, I brought the jump lead with me today, and I've got some ping pong bats, <laughs> four pong bats. But, um, Very issue. Anyway, my first little fish, and well, um, can we have a look at it? Yeah. He's only little. Right, get this, right, get all done. I'll bring him over. Clean, he's beautiful. Right, I'm going to be... Oh my God, he's a jumper. Oh God, stay in that. There he is. It's a little baby pike. <laughs> isn't he gorgeous? Now, isn't he gorgeous? Now... Yeah, yeah. And there's his tail. Yeah. See? 40 centimetres. 40 centimetres. 40 centimetres. He can show you. <laughs> right, get this... Right, get this fish straight back. And hopefully he'll be recording then. I'm not going through that again. Can you? Yeah, you can come here. It's hard, I'm fishing a bit cautiously. Yeah. I was struggling a minute ago and um, I feel like I'd like a, a slightly heavier jig head on, you know, a bit more lead on it or something. I suppose you can, um, oh my god, that, that felt like something then. Yeah, this will be the first time you've been out for a while, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, little perch, you want a little perch? Yeah, a lot of rock up the side, isn't there? Have you got one, Matt? Oh, he's a little pike. We got him? <laughs> oh well done. Let's go and have a look at him. Well done. We have to perch, but yeah. Oh we'll take them all day long. Yeah. <gasps> Here we go. Oh look at that. <laughs> Beauty. Nice one. Did your hook come out in the net? It might have done actually, yeah. I've got to imagine him. I'll tell you what, this has been a really good day, Mark. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A lot of gear, just come out and not have to perch, but... Whoa! There you go. I think he's a little bit longer than the one I had. <laughs> oh, he's a wriggler. <laughs> oh, really? We'll get it back. Beauty. 
Right. You gonna measure him? Let's have a look. I think it might be a bit. Have a look. Oh, he's bigger than mine. He's <laughs> 40, 42, I think. Beautiful. Look at those markings. Isn't he beautiful? It's gorgeous, eh? Okay. Look. Get Lee, him back. Leeds Liverpool Canal, hey. eh? Beautiful. Look, we've got geese. Thank you, little fish. Little fish, whatever you are. No, I'll tell you what, let's go fun. Right, let's go catch some fish. It's there, isn't it? Going today, man. Hang on, get my thumb out of the way. Oh, my bloody hands in the way now. Here, I've got a tripod. How's it going? It's all right, isn't it? Look, no. sun's shining. It's, it's uh, we're having a nice little day. Not catching any fish now. Well, no, but it's nice to be out. Isn't it? Who can we blame? It's nice to be out. It's always good. The government. <laughs> it's oh, their fault. It was them people playing golf over there, wasn't it? <laughs> Shock leaders, hitting that right now 60 70 meters out there, maybe a little bit further. This one's a little bit shorter, at about 45 50 meters. I've got two markers which I'm going to work with. I'm not putting any ground baits in. I'm not early in the year. The way I see it is um, I'm fishing for one fish. Um, setting a trap sort of thing. I'm willing to sit on the baits for around about at the start, I'm going to put a little bit of bait in, I'm going to sit on 15 minutes, push it to 25, maybe 30 minutes, but it's all down to what's going to happen. So I'm fishing big 10mm wafters, bright red ones, um, slightly coloured the water, it's been raining, 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 uh, mitts is going down on my bite around a little bit. I would have liked to have fished on the, uh, the tip, the, uh, the tip. The, uh, the tip, not off that. What is that? Mud, mud, mud. Um, one slip and you slip to disc. It's one of those. <laughs> Sorry, I've not been um, making any films for a while. I, I, I hurt my back and my hip on the last trip out with Mark Elliott, and um, two trips before that, um, Mark had to help me on the River Ribble to get my gear back to the van. Um, the trip after that I just wanted to be happy because I, I didn't have to walk. Um, I've just been trying to rest and lose a little bit of weight which I'm struggling with. Anyway, hope everybody's well. The spring's on the way. Hopefully, um, we've had one liner on the right hand rod. Um, this is my second chuck. Uh, I'm doing 25 minutes chuck, we're going to be doing a 20 minute chuck on this one and then maybe down to 15 just to get a little bit of bait in because the large feeders they, they do hold a bit of bait uh, I don't want to fill it in I'm just, you expect to possibly start getting indications maybe um, in an hour or two we hope, very low stock no one is a hell of a lot in here. Let's just see what happens. Uh, no touches on this second chuck, which is a bit <coughs> of a shame. Um, I reckon we're into about 15 minutes into the chuck. Uh, 
And uh, Mitzi's not happy. She's a little bit muddy and a bit wet. It did absolutely. It's typical, isn't it? We got all the way here. It got out of the van and it just poured it down. And then the, we had to walk miles. So well, we walked up to find her at the swim. Oh, she's a bit cold actually. I put a coat on her in a bit. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I know. Okay, I've sort of stripped everything down because I'm walking far and what have you and I'm not expecting to catch much if anything today but we'll give it a go for a little over an hour I think I've had one liner I'm on my third chuck like roughly around about 20 minute chucks I think um, might leave the next ones in a little bit longer, but I'm not putting a lot of bait out on them, so it's not like I'm filling it in, it's not like I'm fishing with carp. Uh, it's vast water, it's massive. Um, and if the fish, I've, I've had my hands in the water, it's not, it's not all that cold, it's tepid. It's not it's not what's in the wind's not the best today. Some dirty bastards <laughs> burning some plastic or something on the other side of the lake. <laughs> and it's going straight over here. Uh well, I've seen anybody it's been quiet. Um, but yeah just one liner. Could have been anything that because I've, I've seen a few cormorants knocking about. Um, uh, I'm catch up in a bit, see how it's getting on. See in a bit. Typical. Yeah, over five minutes ago, I've just had a dirty, great big husky dog just come down on my swim, jump in the water, and then proceeded to take both, wipe both of my rods off the rod pods basically rip my pod up um, and it's sorry 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 I mean Mitzi's on a lead and it's got a harness on it this dog and he hasn't even got it on a lead cock typical anyway come on Mitz back over here come here back over it come here come here Oh, anyway, so I cause it just done that on me. I, I just basically rebaited because it disturbed disturbed the uh, the setup. So um, I just recast back my left hand rod back on that reasonably far chuck, whatever it is. Can't, can't remember what I even have no idea. It's it's fair all distance and the lighter feeder. I'm comfortable at chucking. Further. So I've just I've just unclipped it and wanged it. I can wang it further, but I wanged it and then just reclipped it up. And I'm just going to use that for a, a searching rod. I'm going to leave it on that same clip. I'll, I'll, I'll almost re reel it in more often than the other. I'm going to use that rod as a searching rod just to see if it, even if I just pick up some liners, just to work out because up to now I have one liner. But uh, unless I put a rod out further and further, uh, I'll not work out what range they want to be at. If they want to be anywhere near all feeding or moving, if, if that's the case, it might not even be in this part of the lake. They might be in the other part. I'm not sure, even sure of the depths because I don't. I, I've, I've sort of like checked it on Google Maps and I went. That looks like a nice area, and then the, I think there was a, a thread in a report that I read from around about 20 years ago, well, 15 years ago or something, and it basically, some some guy said it was about 18 foot. Um, and it is, it's roughly 18 foot where I was. So, and it's not the hot area, the hot area is right down there. And I wanted to keep away from it because there's an old car park 
right at the other end of the lake and he mostly gets busy and I looked at this end and I thought well it's better for mitts here and I won't have any dogs jumping in my swim and I've had one jump in my swim there was another dog earlier but he took one look at me he was swimming around to the left of me and then he buggered off so <laughs> must have took one look and went oh I'm not going near him but the other one the husky must have thought you know what Duh, I'm not so clever oh no I'm going to swim right through I, honestly it just ripped all my rods off, off the pod I just thought Jesus Christ do I need this and then I'll drop the tips lower to the water on the rods yeah I'll show you uh, she waves crashing around so I uh, I opted to uh cast out all the way over there somewhere all the way out there geese no you're right mitts come on she won't settle now after this dog's been here get on get in your chair come on. up right big dog won it but you liked it I've, did you give it a message and say go swimming go swimming daddy swim you won't mind I don't mind that. It's come out absolutely brilliant. But the bobbins haven't moved. Oh dear. Don't know what I'm in now. Don't know how long, a couple of hours, maybe more. And I'm chucking pretty far now, I'm just searching. But it's a big fast I'm out of water, there's no weed out there, I'm very surprised, and the bottom's absolutely superb, but uh, big waters like this, you know, you're coming into spring, you know, it's like, it's fish location is everything, the fact that I've only had one liner in that amount of time, and I'm on a big chucks now, uh, either means there's no fish in the area, or they're not moving. Winds in my face, so you know, in theory, you should be more or less in this area. If they're up this area, they might be over the other end of the lake, I don't know. Oh, they're just not moving around. I've not seen any fish showing whatsoever, not a single one. And it's a bit surprising actually because the water's not all that cold. Um, it's what's name? Um, it's tepid, but it's not, it's not cold. Uh, we've had some fresh water in it, but not a lot. And uh, it's, it's got a little bit of colour to it, but um, a little bit of sun on it now. But what, I, I've, I've looked, and there's a bit of chop on the water, you know what I mean? It sort of gives the, the fish a little bit of uh, confidence, as it were. I've looked and I've looked and I've looked and I've been scouring all this time while I've been here. Uh, not see a single fish roll or not even a small fish roll or anything. Uh, I know there's fish in it, but I don't know what the stocking though is like. Or how it fishes. There's hardly any reports, there's virtually nothing. And whenever people come fishing here in uh, summer, they do alright, but this time of year, it's apparent when I'm looking around, there's nobody around at all, not a single person on the bank, the bridging, seems to be the only person. Never mind, I'll just um, keep watching the bobbins here. Blow around in the wind. Whee! just blow around in the wind, and you get lovely waves. Never mind. See where this wind's come from, it's just come from nowhere and everything is just rocking away. is not settling. Yeah, I've had to put two, another 45 gram on the 28 gram. I added it on the shore. I could cast that 28 gram and it was holding bottom and the line sinking, but 
cast it three times and um, the line was just souping over it. I wasn't even, I just shot the clip so I put 45 on. Um, perfect. Just nail it straight out of there so both of them are on 45s now but um, still doing about 20-25 minute casts. I think I pushed the last one to about half an hour. <laughs> Don't think it'd be this tough. But it is. Wind's reasonably warm though. I like a bit of wind. But no, no fish. Now what I want to do is um I impossible to even cast out there it's hard to do it was impossible to cast out there so i've come short left and right um there's reed beds at the other side and i've put them out maybe 15 20 yard, yards out but left and right um just for a short while because nothing happening i'm not even getting any liners out there um wind just keeps picking up and it's impossible to cast so in for a penny in for a pound I'll give it half an hour two chucks half an hour on each right I'm on my last chuck so I've what's the name I'm gonna leave this in till about five to five near long enough I've gone long again so what I've done is um, I've tightened the line up really tight on my right hand rod and to marker and range um, the other one I've filled it in I've put some loose bait on, on, on in the feeder filled it in about four or five times on the mark and then just really overloaded the feeder tightened it right up on the drop because it's fair all deep out there on a big chuck and it's the last chucks and if I don't catch anything don't catch anything you won't ever see this film. <laughs> uh, right, see you later. Let's see. What do you think of that? Not good.